And that's where, and I think that's what makes, I mean, there's a billion other things that make a good rapper, but yeah. that's one of the, yeah. the you know, foundations of, of rhyming. So you, you started when you were a teen, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I was about 14 years old. I'm 33 now. Gotcha. So yep. was that, because you've talked about you were in special ed classes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was kid, in special can you, ed. Can you elaborate a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Um, you know, just growing up, I was always hyper and, you know, and just not focusing on stuff. And they always said I had ADD, ADHD, whatever the hell it was. And I was just like, um, I'm just me, you know, but all my teachers, they always had the comment, like, he, he he's just always too hyper. He's not focused. And so they put me in special ed classes, like from... I think like seventh grade throughout the rest of high school. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't mind it. Special ed is actually fucking awesome. Is I that, don't know if you guys have ever been to special ed classes. You get fucking juices. You get lunchtime oh, before lunchtime. You get to watch fucking movies just randomly throughout the wow. day. So is there, so any, so is there any reason why non-special ed kids should be aspiring to be in special no, ed? No. I mean, anybody like, is, everyone in special ed knows like, yo, this is chill. This is dope as fuck. This, this is how it is in special ed. This vibe hey, right here, awesome. not saying you got special ed, but it's chill. Like you just chill with the homies. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody doing no real work. You got easy ass fucking assignments. Yeah. It, it's like, yeah. Yeah, like, and, you, and then you and then you randomly take walks around the school, just randomly. It's I don't know funny. if you ever saw. Like, I remember. Like, I, do, while, I do while, remember that. I do remember that. While all the other yeah. kids are in class, you're just walking around, just like, and the teacher just talking oh, random shit. So I I enjoyed it. So I wasn't mad at all. Like it it was kind of a pride thing at first. Like damn, a special ed. Like fuck, I can't tell nobody. Like I can't tell all the girls. Like when someone's like, ah, he's in special ed. It's like no, I'm not. But. After a while, I was like, "Hell yeah!" I, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. I think like, I we have we have these negative connotations with special ed, but at the end of the day, it's just people who learn differently. Yeah, yeah. And I just look at it this way: like, yeah, people learn differently. Everyone's not the same. I feel like the school system is trying to make everyone the exact same person. Oh. Like, if I don't fuck, with, if I don't do science, if I'm not good at math and whatever else they fucking have, like, there's a million other things on earth that I can do. Why do I have to focus on these things? Like, I was a skateboarder. Yeah. I was I was into drawing, painting, and doing music, rap music. Like, imagine if I just stuck to the fucking script of what school made for me and then, like, I would never be where I'm at right now, you know? And, speaking yeah. his language. You kind of yeah. dodged that programming. Yeah. Like, straight I, up. You yeah. just, you, you got to dodge it. You know what made me um realize that it was even a program was the fucking movie, The Matrix. Once I fucking saw that shit, it oh, fucked yeah. my whole, I was uh, like, hold up. Like, it just, like, my whole perspective of everything was just like, holy shit. And then from there, I was just like, okay. I saw, I, I saw a tweet the other day. <clears throat> And sometimes, you know, those uh, tweets on Twitter go pretty viral, and this was one of them, and it said, I can't remember the last time I used this fucking equation. And it was the quadratic formula. Yeah. X equals uh, oh, sure. negative B squared plus or minus the square root of it. And I was just like, yo, what the f... And, and, and by the way, <laughs> nerd, math, math, yeah. like, they call me the calc god. And yeah. I remember doing it. I was like, this is great. Quadratic <laughs> equation. Dude, I'm going to be able to do, solve all my life problems with quadratic. <laughs> yo, I'm 24 years old. Haven't touched that shit and since I was 18. Never dude, and no you one, never will. Dude. No one does. No, no one does. I just don't get it. And the it, problem is not learning it either. It's how much time you spend. Like, that, those math classes took, what, like 20% of your time in school? 45 minutes a day and for 180 days a year. you're never going to use yeah. any of that Fuck shit, that. That's, dude. that's why I would just sometimes, when I was in high school, I would, I would actually like think like, have my, do I ever see my parents solving these fucking equations and no, their normal no. fucking... Like, my mom and dad don't fucking know any of that. You know, they, they're living a decent yeah. life. And you know, and I'm, you so, take it home to your dad to try to get, like, help. Yeah, and, yeah. And he, and he gets pissed. Yeah, yeah. He can't do it. My, like, yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not, my dad was smart, too, bro. So uh, oh, he, he nailed he, it. He had fractions up until, like... Uh, maybe freshman year, and then when we got to the quadratic and shit, he, he kind of gave up on me and left me to die. What's the solution... To, uh, education now, Hobson. Do you have do you have one for man, us? Man, I just got a solution to being a human being on Earth. Man, just do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Mm. Like once you just understand <clears throat> what that means, I just feel like your life will be a lot better. Like just genuinely do what makes you happy. But I think you have to channel your inner child in order to do that. Because children, like when they see shit, they're like, "Oh, climb a mountain. I want to go do that. Yeah, oh my god, space. Yeah. I want to go there." And I feel like that's their genuine thoughts. But then when you get older, you're like, "Oh shit." It gets covered up with shit. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was reading it, something about that recently. It was. One of the easiest ways to find happiness in life is to reconnect with your inner child. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I believe that because ch children are happy. And then once we get into middle school and we start fucking cussing and wearing boxers and stop wearing underwear yep, and yep, yep. fucking, you know. And I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Then you just, you, you feel like you have to be a certain level of cool, but at the same time, you're just doing what everyone else is doing. And it just, I think it cripples you in the long run. That's yeah. why I'm, I'm trying to, as I get older now, I'm trying to find my inner child to be 
myself more. You know what, what I'm saying? What every kid wants to be the astronaut, the veterinarian, yeah, the football yeah. player. Did you have one of those? Like, what did you want to be? I wanted to be a fucking um, archaeologist. That's that's Let's the. Whoa! Oh, no way! Yeah, you wanted to uncover dinosaur bones. Yes, yes. Because um, when I saw Jurassic Park and all that shit, I was like, man, that's just that's just kind of tight. Have so you I, done anything to take steps to to like go on like a fun like archaeological um, hunt? Never with like dinosaur bones and shit like that. So um. But I, I do go on a lot of adventures. I travel the world a lot, and I just like going out into nature and seeing animals and different things, learning learning a bunch of different things about creatures and all that stuff. But I haven't taken it to that level yet. But maybe one day. I don't know. It's, it's not really my passion anymore. Well, I, that sucks because I have something that is going to get you pretty excited, Mr. <laughs> Archaeologist. Giant severed wolf head from 40,000 years ago, ago has been unearthed. In